A drone belonging to Defense Intelligence of Ukraine attacked the Voronezh M long-range target detection radar station located in the city of Orsk in Russia's Orenburg Oblast on May 26. Voronezh M is part of a family of Russian long-range stationary over-the-horizon radars. It is designed to detect space and aerodynamic targets, including ballistic and cruise missiles. This radar operates in the 1-meter waveband and has a target detection range of up to 6,000 kilometers. For the first time since the start of the full-scale invasion, Ukraine attacked facilities in Orsk, some 1,800 kilometers from the drone's launch location, according to the source. A Ukrainian drone has covered a distance of more than 1,800 kilometers to the enemy's facility, setting a new record for the range of destruction for kamikaze drones, source of Ukrainska Pravda said. Russian media claimed on May 26 that a drone fell in the Orsk suburbs in the Novorsk district, allegedly targeting a military facility. No damages or casualties were reported. Ukraine's military intelligence also struck another Voronezh radar in the village of Glubokiai in Krasnodar Krai on May 23, causing a fire at the facility, according to the source. In early May, another Ukrainian long-range drone hit an oil refinery, Gazprom Neftikim Salavat, in Russia's Republic of Bashkortostan. The drone, operated by the state security service, covered 1,500 kilometers to strike the target, a record-breaking distance for Ukraine at the time. West is already at war with Russia and their weapons strike Russian territory. Lavrov. The West is already at war with Russia and the weaponry it supplies to Ukraine is being actively used to strike deep inside the country. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov told, The top diplomat has dismissed repeated claims by the US and its allies that they somehow restrict Kiev from using Western-supplied weapons to attack Russian territory. Any such statements are tricks that the Americans are trying to feed to their public opinion or to NATO members, Lavrov argued. American weapons are already being used against various targets outside the combat zone, he added. We proceed from the fact that American and other Western weaponry strikes targets on the territory of Russia, primarily civilian infrastructure and residential areas. While Lavrov did not cite specific cases, Ukraine attacked on Crimea with US-made ATACMS ballistic missiles packed with cluster warheads. The Russian military reported the interception of three such munitions in the area, with the region's governor, Sergei Askyonov, stating the attack had also damaged an empty commercial property near the city of Alushta. Lavrov's remarks come amid a renewed push in the US to officially allow Kiev to use American weaponry to strike targets in Russia. Earlier this week, a group of US congressmen appealed to Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin, asking him to permit Kiev to do so, as well as to increase overall military assistance to Ukraine. In addition, US media reports have suggested Secretary of State Antony Blinken has been actively pushing the administration of President Joe Biden to enable Kiev to strike deep into Russia. The contrasting positions of Moscow and the collective West apparently stems from differences on what exactly they acknowledge as Russian territory. Moscow treats formerly Ukrainian territories, namely Crimea, the Donetsk and Lugansk People's Republics, and Kherson and Zaporozhye regions as integral parts of its territory, while Kiev and its Western backers still consider them to be Ukrainian. Russia has lost 500,080 soldiers in Ukraine during the 27-month-long full-scale war, General Staff of Ukrainian Armed Forces reported on Friday. The number is in line with estimates of UK and France, which said in early May that Russia's losses were around half a million. Some 1,140 Russian soldiers were killed over the past day, according to General Staff. In a post on its official Facebook page, the general staff also revealed Russia's losses in terms of military equipment. Thus, Russia lost 7,650 tanks, 
14,786 armored combat vehicles, 12,929 artillery systems, 1,082 MLRs, 814 air defense systems, 356 aircraft, 326 helicopters, 10,414 UAVs, 2,209 cruise missiles, 27 ships and boats, 1 submarine, 17,608 motor vehicles and tankers, 2,104 special equipment since the start of the full-fledged invasion of Ukraine. Spokesman for the General Staff of the Ukrainian Armed Forces, Andriy Kovalev, explained in February that the Russian losses consist of two main indicators, irrecoverable losses and combat sanitary losses. According to Ukrainian military official statement last month, 85% of Russian losses occurred in the eastern sector, affecting both personnel and equipment. In February, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said that 180,000 Russian troops had been killed since the start of the war and also revealed that 31,000 Ukrainian soldiers were killed during the same time.